On our third day, a few of us did a bird watching tour with Margaret Christian. She's a keen bird watcher and conservationist, and she literally wrote the book on Norfolk Island birds. So she was amazing to do the tour with. It's this weird feeling like walking through a New Zealand forest, but not quite, everything's just a little bit different. There's so many familiar plants. The palm trees are nikau palms, which are almost the same as nikau. Unfortunately, although my GoPro is a wonderful wee thing, it really isn't designed for taking pictures of birds and I didn't have room in my hand luggage to date my big camera. So you'll just have to take my word for it that we saw all sorts of birds. It's just they don't really show up on camera as anything more than tiny specks. You feel along the edge of this, there are little, little nicks along the edge and it flowers straight out the garden. Oh. Um, it's in the same family as sandalwood. Turns out there's a lot of bird species on Norfolk Island that are closely related to New Zealand birds. They even have fantails. It's definitely smaller than our fantail. <laughs> And Philip Gidley King, in his journals between 1788 and 90, talks about cutting down 80 foot tall tree ferns to feed to the pigs. Now they didn't have a produce store, they had to feed them something. And I really have nothing but admiration for those people who were dumped out here within weeks of doing the big trip from England. 23 people dumped on an island they knew nothing about. They didn't know if there were tigers here or snakes. The birds are okay. Yeah, that's a chick body. They're okay with the vehicle. It's like being in a hide. But if people start getting out and walking around, they'll get stressed. The real highlight for me was the morning tea break because we stopped right next to the nesting ground of a colony of boobies. They're a bird I've only ever seen on like David Attenborough programs and things, so it was so cool to actually get to see them up close. Felt like we're in the middle of a wildlife documentary. And this is what had been declared extinct in the 1960s. Wow. It's the extinct giant Tasman booby. Fantastic! So what, what had been done was we'd had um, researchers over here and they'd been looking at fossils down around the Cemetery Bay area. What it turns out is that the female of this particular booby is larger than the male and looking at their fossils they probably were measuring tarsus length and they probably had samples that were all female because there would have been a nest size. Next to this little chick up here. She's gorgeous or she's gorgeous. Very cute. I'm a bit concerned that we might have a cat around them because there's a couple of chicks that were just hatched when I first went out of sight. They're so cool. They start out looking like little oven-ready chooks and then as they get fluffed up they look like Big Bird.